Hi everybody, guess what? Today we're going to be painting our butterfly. So where did we leave off last time? Anybody remember? Well, we were outlining, going over all the lines for our butterfly with our favorite color. Remember the trick with the white? You can use white, create the face, and when you watercolor this later, the white will show up. So, how do we start painting? Well, your supply captain is going to be getting some supplies in the art caddy and bringing them back to you. When we paint, we look for a variety of brushes. We look for small brushes for small shapes medium brushes for medium shapes and large brushes for large shapes. So the supply captains are going to get a variety of brushes and put them in your bin for you to choose from. Well, what else do we need? We need water. Not too much water though. This one, this is a little bit too full. Now, if this spills over, it's going to ruin everybody's project. So when we fill up the water cup, make sure you only fill it about halfway so that if it spills, it doesn't ruin everything. To get us started, I'm going to find those small brushes for small shapes, medium for medium shapes, and large brush for large shapes. I'm going to open my watercolor set. And the secret to watercolor is, does anybody know? Can anybody guess what's the secret to watercolor painting? That's right, water. You need water to paint. So what I like to do is put a little bit of water in the spots that I want to paint and then I'm getting ready to activate the paint by adding just a brush, the tip of my brush to it, and then gently touching the brush where I added water. Maybe I want to create a red here, and I'm really trying to stay inside those shapes that I created. Let's say I want to change the color. I'm going to Take my brush, dip it in here, use a paper towel to clean it, and then I'm going to add some water and get ready to start painting a new color. So again, how do I activate the paint? I dip my paintbrush in here, touch it gently to this shape, and I add from there. Now, if I'm going to try to paint, and I don't have any water on this, I just go like this, I'm trying to get the paint and paint, it's not going to work. You have to use water to activate the paint. So I'm just going to dip this in here. Not too much water, I might need to dampen it a little bit so it doesn't drench my paper. Not too much, not too little, just right. So I'm gonna add some paint here and stay in the, the lines. And I am going to take my time and carefully paint this whole painting. I can create a beautiful sunset background. I can use a large brush for the background areas and I can think about those beautiful sunsets we have in Arizona with yellows, with orange. We have some beautiful sunsets. Now it's getting a little bit dark and I don't want my painting too dark because I want my parents to be able to see how bright and colorful it is. 
So I'm just going to add a little bit more water so I can make it a little bit lighter. And I'm gonna keep painting that sunset. So what do we know about watercolor painting? Well, we know that we're going to use large brushes for large areas, medium for medium, small for small. I'm gonna stay inside those lines and make it look really nice so that when it's printed on a special object, you can see everything, see all the shapes that I painted. I know that to clean the brushes, I'm gonna dip it in the water and remove the paint like this. And most importantly, I'm gonna take my time and do my best. How do we get started? Anybody remember? If you haven't, outline your wings, outline all of your shapes, and then you're gonna be ready to start watercolor painting. How fun. You guys are gonna do a great job do your best.